Hello, my name is Tony Jacobson and I'm with Fonz and Porter. And in today's So Easy lesson, I'm going to teach you how to make tilted blocks. Tilted blocks can be a lot of fun. They can add a lot of interest and variety to um, your quilt. And here's an example of one that I will show you today. Uh, you will have instructions. This can be for several different blocks of what I'm going to show you today. You can see how nice it is to have this block tilted. Instead of uh, just having it straight, it gives it so much more interest. In doing the technique that we're doing today, what you're going to be instructed to do in your directions is make an oversized block. So I'll move this out of the way. So your block is going to end up being oversized and everything's squared up so it's a very easy way to make this block because you're using just your regular straight um, borders and, and you're going to cut it down. Um, but you've got extra wide borders because we're going to use some template plastic and mark a section to give you a template that you can place on this block that will help you trim it off like you want it. And then it'll make it so that your blocks will all be consistent as you go down the line. So I will put this out of the way for now. Um, you'll want to get some template plastic. And in this particular case, um, our instructions tell us that we need to have a nine and a half inch piece of template plastic, which I've already cut down. So what you're going to do is, again, in your instructions, depending on what block you're doing, how much of a tilt you want, you will have instructions that will tell you how to mark your template plastic. With this particular block, what I want to do is I want to take my ruler and I need to make two marks starting at the left corner of each side. The first mark I want to make is at the two inch. And I'm doing this with a permanent marker um, so that it will stay on there. Um, the fonts and pointer markers work real well because they don't smear on you. So I make a mark at the two inch and then I need to make a mark at the three inch. Then I will turn my block, my template plastic, and again, because of my instructions tell me to, I'll mark at two inches and at three inches. And I just keep doing this all the way around on all four sides of my template plastic. Okay, once we've done that, then I will need to bring in my larger ruler and we are gonna, I'm gonna draw a diagonal line and I wanna start at the two inch mark that I've made here and draw to my three inch mark on the adjacent side of my template plastic. So I will align my ruler up here at the two inch mark and down here at my three inch mark and I'll draw a line across. Then I turn my plastic again, going from the two inch on one side to the three inch on the adjacent side. And you just wanna remember that you're not going from two inch to two inch, you wanna go two inch to three inch. Okay, we have just one more side that we will mark here. Okay, so now we've marked our template plastic and what you'll notice is now we have a square that's been tilted. So we'll bring in our block that we pieced earlier and you're going to use these lines that you've just drawn to line up on the seams in your borders and to make sure that your center square of your original block is centered. Then I'm going to take the, um, a marking pencil and this is one that has, um, it's a mechanical pencil, so the weight of your lead is going to stay even as you make your mark. Um, I'm going to use white lead, ceramic lead in this one, because I've got a little bit darker fabric, and so the white will show up better than if I went with a darker. I need to just adjust this a little bit. 
and I just draw my line, draw a line there, draw my line across there. And you can see a little bit of it, that the line shows up. I'll turn this over, turn it around. Realign this. And then I make my other two lines. And I forgot to get my cleft glove out and my um, rotary cutter. Put the glove on because we want to be safe. And then all you're going to do is take your ruler, line it up on the lines you've just drawn. You'll cut that corner off. that corner off and you just cut all four lines of your block and now you have your tilted block from the oversized block that you did before and so now when you line these up on your quilt, you've got a lot more play in what your blocks are doing and gives a lot more interest to your block. I hope you've learned a lot in today's So Easy lesson, and I hope you'll join us for other So Easy lessons at FonzandPorter.com. <laughs>